Hey y'all, let's talk about Kathy Griffin. I have one of two things. Either Kathy Griffin will be known in the future as a legend who really showed us who Donald Trump was and we didn't heed, we didn't do anything about it. We didn't support her. Or um, she will go down in history as a traitor to the United States for being an American citizen holding up um, the severed head or, you know, the semblance of a frozen, of a severed head of her own president, um, which I got to tell you, um, the people who were in opposition to Obama did much worse. They did much worse, honey. And people covered it up. But I find it funny that when Kathy Griffin did something, it was just blasted all over, you know, for everybody to see worldwide. And the liberals didn't do anything. It almost was like the liberals did that. They protected the people who were disrespecting Obama by not publicizing their vitriol. But Kathy Griffin, they just put her on blast. Now, I don't know why, but I got a theory. Y'all ready for my theory? <laughs> These crazy liberals run this here whole thing. Even the conservatives. But but um, the thing about Kathy Griffin, <laughs> Kathy Griffin been putting they behinds on blast. <laughs> oh, she been airing they dirty laundry, honey, for years. That's how Kathy Griffin was able to buy a $10 million house next to Kim and Kanye by constantly going after celebrities. And the main reason why she went after them is because they didn't really support her whole deal. And the gays supported her, but the gays want the tea. The gays want the tea, honey. So, Kathy gave it to him. She gave it to him. And the reason why Kathy had the tea is because of this, honey, and not this. <laughs> she was invited. <laughs> she was invited to it. Because she's this and not this. Okay. I forget the person. The, there's a YouTuber who's always talking about that. What's his name? I can't remember his name. <sighs> you know who I'm talking about. The one that be saying, is it me? And. Oh, Lord. I can't remember his name. I can see him. I just can't remember his name. Mm-mm-mm. He's gotten into all kind of arguments with other YouTubers and talking about this to one lady <laughs> smelling like fish. <laughs> okay, y'all know who I'm talking about. I want to give him credit, but I just can't remember his name. <laughs> but I remember his his uh, stuff, and I remember his. I'm not subscribed to him anymore. Actually, I haven't watched him in a long time. Um, I can't remember his name. I want to say it's got an F name to it, but I can't remember. Can't remember. So, anyway, 
There is so much oppression in this world, y'all, for real, for real. Black people, honestly, even I thought black people had a corner on the market. But as I'm getting older, I'm seeing more stuff. And what I believe is that black people consistently are the ones who are fighting, fighting, fighting against it because everybody else wants us to just shut up and comply. But black people, there's always a black person standing up and saying, uh uh, uh no, that's not okay, you know? And black folks be in everybody's business. It don't matter who it is, if it comes across a black person, one black person amongst the billions of, of ninjas. That's from Father Love of Jews. She say ninjas. There will always be a black person, male or female, who will stand up and say, uh-uh. No, you wrong for that, boo-boo. You wrong for that. More so than any other. There's so much stuff that go on. I don't hear no Asians saying Jack. Samoans don't say Jack. Mexicans only speak up when it's about a Mexican. And white people only speak up when it's a white person. Rarely do they go toe to toe and sacrifice themselves on the cross for black people. Nope. And neither do Jews. Excuse me. The only reason why Jews say anything is because it's affecting their shmoney, honey. Other than that, mm mm. Nope. <sighs> Black people, they something else. I'm going to tell you, honey. Kathy Griffin just became a ninja. Do you think she know? <laughs> She been with her little young white boy for uh, eight years. He's 19 years younger than her. She's going on 60. And I believe that they have a deal that when she dies, she gonna leave him everything. Because he the only one, she said she don't hear from any Griffins at all. And he's gotten flack from his family, but he's hanging in there with her. So, Kathy, I believe Kathy can live until she's 90, unless they, unless they do her in. But if Kathy can die just naturally based on her organs and stuff like that, I think that she can live for a long time. And this young man, I'm sure he gonna wanna have babies. <clears throat> I'm sure he want to have babies. And unless he has babies with an asshole, because I don't think Kathy going to have no babies with him, they can adopt some children. But <clears throat> if he marries an asshole, children ain't going to change that. You know who I'm talking about? You, 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 you. You know who you are. I'm talking about you. Chose to marry an asshole into a and to bring an asshole into an already difficult family situation. And then you're going to have some children with that person, use the damn fool. And whatever you got coming to you, it ought to come. Now, and the reason why I say that, this man, 19 years younger than Kathy, he has a choice of at least 45 women that he could choose to spend his life with. He didn't gave eight years to Kathy. She's not his, her, his wife. And he ain't her husband. And Kathy ain't never been married and don't have no children. So honestly, she could make him the sole inheritor of everything that she has, especially since her family has turned against her behind Trump. That's cool. That's cold. Man. That's cold. That's cold. Do you hear me? People have family issues. People have family issues. 
Bobby Dirt, any family that put a stranger over blood, okay. Ooh, I just hate to think about reaping that. That's a very bitter harvest, and a lot of people going to reap it. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, God, they turned their back on uh, uh, Miss Kathy Griffin. And who could blame them? Kathy is difficult. Kathy is annoying. Kathy is all of those things. Very negative, very manipulative. Uh, she wants to be, she's a narcissist, her, her damn self. As much as she talk about Trump, she, she's got some narcissistic uh, tendencies, her damn self. <sighs> And the stuff that Kathy pulls, nobody can deal with that. This guy is dealing with it for eight years. Nobody else has. You know what I'm saying? And who knows how this is all going to uh, shake out in the wash as time goes on. I can't. But anyway, I'm almost to my destination, so I'm going to wrap it up. Kathy Griffin, honey, what it's going to be? Y'all tell me in the future. Do you think that she's a hero or a traitor? Let me know. Bye.